Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Itzy and today we're going to talk about how to overcome the fear of failure. By the end of this video, you will be able to say screw it and go do whatever it is you love. If you're watching this video, it's because there is something that you really want to do but you're afraid to start because you're afraid of failing. But before I get into how to overcome failure or the fear of failure, I want to clarify two things. And the first one is that this is, this is about overcoming failure. It's not about getting rid of it because the fear will always be there and there's nothing you can do to just magically get rid of it. But this is how to overcome it so that you don't let it stop you. And the second thing I want to say is that fear is, the fear of failure specifically, is absolutely normal and it's human and it's okay to be scared of failing. So I don't want you to feel ashamed or embarrassed or make yourself feel bad about it. So what exactly is the fear of failure? So the fear of failure is, it's not exactly that you're afraid of failing or of falling, so to speak. It just means that that you're afraid of what will happen once you're on the ground. So you 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 fear that that once you're um, once you've failed, you're afraid of how you will feel. So maybe you think that you'll feel disappointed in yourself or ashamed, or you fear what other people will say, which is usually what what the, the main thing that people are afraid of of, um, and that's. Um, you're afraid of what they will say about you or if they will laugh about you, laugh at you or if um, or that they'll say I told you so. So that's what the fear of failure is. It's you're not afraid of actually falling, but you're afraid of what will happen once you're actually on the ground. And so I have a question for you that I really want you to think about. And that's why do you care about what people will say if you fail? What, why do you care about what your parents will say, about what society will say, about what strangers will say? Like people who you don't even care about because you don't know them. Why do you care so much about what they have to say about you? And then why are you so afraid of feeling ashamed? Because I'm not here to put down your feelings or say that what you feel is invalid, but it's just a feeling. When you fail, when you're on the ground, instead of worrying, why don't you choose to feel excited instead? like force yourself to feel excited because you have to again force yourself to look up and think okay what did I learn from this what did I get from this what do I know now and what can I take from it so that I don't make the mistake again so overcoming failure is just a simple mentality shift and it's just it's thinking um instead of again worrying about what other people are going to say think when I fail, which is really just you making a mistake, so when I fail, I will have gained a valuable lesson that will help me get far, and this isn't a step back, it's just one step closer to success. There's a bright side to everything, you just have to look for it. Plus, failing is good. No one, no one can make it to where they are without failing. We're not perfect, we're gonna make mistakes. Like, the biggest actors and actresses and entertainers they have all failed. They've all heard the word no multiple times, right? But let's, I want to talk specifically about like that final yes that you get after you've heard no and no and no multiple times. I want to talk about that final yes. So I believe that everything happens for a reason. And I, I think that hearing the word no not only takes you a step closer to success, but it takes you closer to what you really want, right? So for example, Gal Gadot, she almost stopped um, acting. She almost stopped auditioning because she kept hearing so many no's. But eventually she got Wonder Woman, which is like one of the biggest movies of the year. And if she'd gotten a yes earlier, maybe the movie would have been a flop, you know? But instead, she, even though she heard no over and over again, she continued and she got something great because the universe was like, every time she got that no, the universe was like, hold on, I've got something really cool for you. Like, all you have to do is keep going. And 
like like I said, even like the biggest people, they haven't they haven't made it without without making mistakes. But and like the reason maybe like you don't know about that is because you don't hear it often. And the reason you don't hear it often is because though when you've failed, it probably means or it probably feels like the world's staring down at you with judging eyes and like the biggest thing in the world, but in like the grand scheme of things, it becomes so small. So that's why you don't hear that much about why or how other people failed because they don't really matter sometimes. So that's another um, mentality, you know, shift that you can do. And that's um, because focusing on the now is really important and focusing on the present is super important. But you also have to look at the future and think, okay, I know it seems really bad right now, but in the in like the long run, how will this look? So besides failure being necessary, it also makes life more exciting, believe it or not. Um, taking risks and knowing full well that there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to fail is what makes life better. Because if you're bored with life, it's probably because you're not taking um, a lot of risks. And if you want to become better at o overcoming failure, then you're going to have to learn how to take more risks. More risks. And... Um, these risks don't have to be so big, you know, it doesn't have to be like quitting your job to start your own business, although that would be obviously really great. These risks don't have to be too big. It can be something as small as like um, doing a live stream on Facebook or Instagram, even though you know that like only one person will watch, like that's taking a risk. And this is good for two reasons, because either the, f the first thing that can happen is maybe that live stream ends up getting like, 20 viewers and you got questions and it's actually pretty good so it boosts your confidence so next time you you take a risk it'll be easier or you it doesn't turn out that great but it makes you realize wow like I was making such a big deal out of this like it wasn't even that bad so it becomes like you you eventually start getting used to it so you have to take risks be more afraid of settling and living a normal life that you're probably gonna hate instead of the the failure you know that you might overcome so take risk and, and step out of your comfort zone and the reason you also want to like step out of your comfort zone more more is because you want to be in control of your fear right you don't want it to be the other way around and as i said in the beginning you won't get rid of fear but it's like it's like a bug on your shoulder right like you can't just squish it and kill it like you're gonna have to flick it off even though you're scared until eventually like you're flicking it off like it's no big deal and more about stepping out of your comfort zone Tony Ro Tony Robbins says I can be fearful and I can do it anyway and that's true because in order to be in charge of your fear and not the other way around it's like it's a choice right it's either will I do it or will I not you know will I cross the line or will I will I stay behind it but once you make the choice, the right choice, hopefully, which is crossing the line, you have to stick with it. And let me tell you now that you're not always going to feel comfortable when you step out of your comfort zone, right? Like, that's why it's called your comfort zone. Like, it's going to be scary and you're going to feel awkward and shy, but that's completely normal. But, like, in cases like these, honestly, you have, like, no choice. And, like, the only advice I can give you is that you just have to suck it up because, like there's like you just you just have to do it like it's that simple and you don't always have to feel comfortable well in, specifically in cases like these you don't always have to feel comfortable um when you when you cross that line but you have to do it one of my favorite quotes by jennifer hudson says that your passion should be bigger than your fear so if you do feel scared or uncomfortable um if you really love it as much as you say you do, then you're willing to make these sacrifices and go after what you want. And it's the fastest way to get over the fear of failure. It's to just do it. You can't wait to be 100% ready. You can't wait for the timing to be perfect. You can't wait to have more money because the timing is never going to be perfect. Maybe you'll have more money, but maybe when you have more money, you'll say, wait, I need even more money. So you literally just have to start now because... There's just, it's never gonna be like the perfect time to finally begin. So when you fail, you can either quit or do it again, right? Two options, quit or start over. Because like you made a mistake, so what? Who gives a crap about what other people will say? At least 
at least you're trying because so many people are so afraid of like even thinking about doing what they love, of quitting their job, of telling their partner that they're going to do what they want to do. So many people live in fear and they don't have the courage to do what you do. So just remember that. Remember that you're brave for asking your boss for a raise. You're brave for for telling someone that you have feelings about them or you're brave for 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 failing. Like it doesn't make you an idiot. It doesn't make you a dumbass. It just makes you really brave and courageous and inspiring. At least you have the guts to do what you want when when they they don't. Like and that sucks and it's like it's sad for them, but just remember that they're not out. They're not against you. Like they're not out to get you. They're they're just jealous. Failing is only human, right? Marie Forleo says a fall isn't final unless you stay on the ground. And I absolutely love that. Um, and she also says that once you try again, you're no longer the person that failed, but you're the person who got up again. You're the person who's willing to kick ass again, even though you totally embarrassed yourself. So be that person, be that inspiration and challenge yourself. So once you've taken that first step, that first very scary step, you need to be prepared for anything because yes you can succeed but you can also fail like you have to know that you can take the jump but the net might not always appear right and also like remember that um failure 90 percent of the time it's internal it's in your mind and when you take that first step again like you can't expect to to start like at the top like you're starting at at the bottom and you can't you can't expect to to win like at every first try you get because that's not possible. I mean, I mean, it's possible, but like what are the chances, you know? So I just want you to be prepared for anything. And once you do get started, you need to be patient because whatever you're deciding to do, it could take three weeks or three years or 10 years. But if you really love it, you just have to keep at it and be patient. So I want to talk more about how the fear of failure is internal because as humans we overcomplicate things a lot right like we overthink and our mind plays tricks on us we're creating the worst case scenarios instead of just holding on to like that one positive thought that we're having and actualize.org says that like hundreds of year years ago years ago it was like fear was amazing right it was awesome because it saved people from being freaking eaten alive or whatever but now we have to switch our mindset from safety minded to growth minded because even though it was it, it's not that it's not real now but most of the time it's just like the, these subconscious um worries that you have that probably won't even come true so yeah stop being stop feeling so scared and and think about how you can learn and how you can grow so now let's talk about believing in yourself. So Will Smith, Will Smith says that before you take the first step, you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in your actions and your thoughts. And I think that's really important because if you don't believe in yourself, like how do you expect the world to, to believe in you? And how do you expect to overcome the fear of failure if you're not actually like trusting yourself? And once you trust yourself, you can start trusting whatever is out there, right? Whatever you believe in, um, God, fate, the universe. I believe in the universe, so I'm gonna use the universe. Um, because once you make a decision and you put it out there and you, you're really gonna stick with it, that's when the universe starts like helping you. And they, it's like steps out of your way. And even though you're gonna fail, it's going to, Eventually, you're going to get what you want. Eventually, in the end, everything's going to be the way you wanted it to because you persevered. You didn't stop even though you were afraid and you failed. So there are just a few more things that I want to say. I know there's been a lot of information. We could just go back and rewatch and take notes and really take everything into consideration. Um, but one thing I want to say is that don't let the fear of failure stop you from dreaming so big and stop you from going after after what your big dream really is because reality is 
is it's bullshit, right? Like everything seems impossible until you actually do it, right? So be delusional and be crazy and believe in your dreams even if nobody else does. The only one stopping you is you. You're, you're responsible, like it's not time or money, you're people. Like the only one in your way is you. So get out of your own freaking way and overcome the fear of failure and do what you want. When you fail, when you mess up, when you're on the floor, embarrassed, like I said, take responsibility. Tony Robbins, again, says that you didn't fail because you didn't have the resources. You failed because you, won't, you weren't resourceful. And like you have what you need. I'm pretty sure you have what you need because you're watching this video right now. And it's not, it's, so it's not, okay, so you have what you need and you might not have what you want, but still, <coughs> excuse me, with what you have, you have to go after what you want. And if you really don't have what you need, then talk to people. Ask, put a freaking story on Instagram asking, hey, if anyone has this, I'd really appreciate it if I could just borrow it for a week and then I'll give it back. Like, it's not that hard. The perfect example of like using what you have, even though it's not what you need, is Johnny Santana, a friend of mine who actually interviewed for the first episode of the BRTC show. If you wanna check that out, the link's gonna be up here. Um, so what Johnny did was he was 16, 17 years old, right? Sophomore, junior in, in high school, and he wanted to be a director. So he said, you know what? I have friends, like maybe they don't wanna act, but maybe they'll help me out. And I have a camera, which isn't the, ca the greatest camera, but I have one anyway, and I'm gonna make a movie. So he wrote the script, he got his friends and his shitty camera, and he recorded it and made a movie out of it. And he didn't use all these bullshit excuses or the fear of failure to stop. He, like, he didn't stop himself. And now that movie is on Amazon Prime, and now he's got a second movie out, which he promoted on the local news. And it's all because he didn't let the fear of failure stop him. You know, he persevered and he was just like, screw it. And he did it anyway. And now he's loving his life. So when you do fail, ask yourself how you can, like, what made you fail? Like, why did you fall in the first place? And then take that skill and sharpen it and say, how can I improve it? You know, ask yourself, how can you, how can I grow? And sometimes growing means um, learning something that you don't want to learn, you know, like, like, I love talking. I love making videos, right? I love talking to you about this, and I love learning new methods so that I can teach you, like, the ones that work, right? What I don't love is the behind the scenes. Like, sometimes I don't, I'm saying like so much, okay. Sometimes I don't want to learn more about how to make YouTube videos, or I don't want to think of a good title, but to me, it's worth it anyway. So, so sure, maybe I'd rather, be watching a movie or something instead of thinking of a title but I think to me to me it's it's worth it and it's just I love helping people so you have to make those sacrifices you're gonna have to learn things that maybe you don't want to learn if you really want to make it to where you want to be so remember that it's all about making a choice it's will I do it or will will I not and that's the best way to get to get, I think that's the, the best way to get rid of the fear of failure, or to overcome the fear of failure, sorry. Like, I know I gave you a lot of advice, but I think that's the number one thing. It's just literally just doing it and just crossing that line, even though you're freaking terrified. Because Gary Vaynerchuk says, um, it's like swimming. You either jump in the pool and you go, or you don't, the end, right? Period, that's it. So go. <laughs> try it, trust yourself, and trust the universe. And I'm gonna leave you with these questions. Are you really going to let the fear of failure stop you? Are you gonna become an old person filled with regret when, because you didn't take the chance when you were young to do what you wanted because you were scared? Like think about how ridiculous that sounds. You're not doing something because you're afraid of failing when you probably are gonna fail. So. Who gives a shit? Do it anyway. And also, in the positive way, are you going to believe in your insanity and in your crazy dreams? And are you going to inspire other people? 
Are you going to do what you love despite being so afraid? So just think about those questions and I'm just going to leave you with that. So I really hope that you make the right choice and that you do it. Um, but that's the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to hear from you. Like, whatever it is you want to do, I want to, to know what it is that you're afraid to do or what your dreams are. And then I want you to say, I will do it. That's it. So thank you so much again for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see even more content, I have more videos and articles at itsayana.com where you can also subscribe there to get even more awesome content. And yep, that's the end. Bye.